All right, and on to passage three. I'm expecting something difficult to come along because one and two were fairly straightforward. So let's see um, what have we got. Summary with a box can be difficult. Of course, the usual multiple choice, some yes, no, not given, and one of these funny overall multiple choices. All right, let's go straight for the summary. Uh, first thing we're going to do, do you remember? We're just going to check where these multiple choice comes from. Um, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, and doesn't say there, but I'm guessing fifth paragraph. Let's just go and see if BSE is in the fifth paragraph. One, two, that's third paragraph, that's fourth paragraph, that's fifth paragraph, and there's BSE. So multiple choice are from paragraph three, four, and five. It probably means that this summary is going to come from one and two, probably. So, right, let's go straight straight into the summary then. Um, we want to see where it comes from first. Prepared to harm people and the environment in order to make money, they appear to have no something. So, usually I would just take a look and see if I can see the first one. Uh, businesses harm people and the environment to make money and they have no something. So, it's kind of skimming now offends our sense of justice there's a business maximize amount of money it makes so there's uh, make money damaging environment and hurting people so that is here businesses are prepared to harm people and the environment in order to make money so then somewhere there must be and they appear to have no i'll quickly look for it uh, I don't see anything offends our sense of justice. Maybe I don't really see anything. Um, so I'm going to skip it. Remember, often with these summaries and most many question types, the first one is very difficult. So I don't see this one. So I'll skip it. Lack of something by governments, again, government and public can lead to environmental problems such as or the destruction of. So this is examples such as or the destruction of. There's not great scanning words here, but I'll look for government and public. As I'm scanning, um, now I can see here they doing an example. Here they're talking about fishing. Here they're talking about logging and the rainforest. So this is actually an example sentence. It makes me suspect that's where the such as comes from. But, and I'm also looking for government and public. And then I see government over there and public over there. Uh, so I'll just read this. When the government is effective, when public is aware, may outcompete dirty ones. But the reverse is likely if government, again, is ineffective and if the public does not care. So it, it looks like it's not going to be over here. It looks like it's all from the first paragraph. So let's take a look and see exactly what they want. I'm going to try these, these two first. Lack of something by government and lack of public something. Can do what? Can this is sort of is it good or is it bad? Can lead to environmental problems. So a lack of is bad. So when there is a lack of government regulation is ineffective. Both cases they're talking about government regulation. That's straightforward enough for me. Uh, regulation by governments, government regulation is just noun phrase one, noun phrase two. Oh, whoopsie, I nearly made the mistake that I tell you always not to make. I nearly wrote it there. <laughs> now you've got to go to the box and see something about regulation. And I'll leave that up to you to find. Pause the video if you want. But regulation means control. To regulate something means to control something. So he's fine over there. I'm happy enough with that. And then what was it about the public? Lack of public awareness i think public does not care so it's like involvement awareness care lack of public something funding no trees rare species moral standards control is out involvement yes flooding overfishing worker support so involvement and public does not care they are not involved quite as quite as a stretch to get that but um, it can't really be any of these others 
Great, the EF. So it can lead to environmental problems such as, now I'm going to go back to that example sentence. So this is an interesting thing just to notice. Usually, usually the, with the summaries, they appear in the order that they do here. But I've mentioned one exception uh, many times is when it's inside a sentence, they can switch it around. So it can be inside a sentence in the text or it can be inside a sentence in the summary. And as you can see here, this is all one big sentence. So they can switch it around inside that sentence. So they've done that deliberately to try and trick you uh, because you're be going to be expecting them to be in the order that they appear in the text. But remember, inside a sentence, they can switch it around. Okay, so environmental problems such as something or the destruction of something. Um, environmental problems. <clears throat> so we've got two examples here, something about fish and something about illegal logging. So let's see if we can find anything in the box about fish and illegal logging. First one, problems such as fish overfishing, <clears throat> straightforward enough, and illegal logging anything, destruction of is trees. Also straightforward enough. Right. So then we can go back and see if we can find this other one, and it's actually really difficult. Um, they appear to have no. <clears throat> uh, let's just delete all of these that we've done. Control is gone. Fishing is gone. And involvement. I didn't look at the grammar because um, all of these are nouns. There's nothing really to help you help us with the grammar. Uh, appear to have no. Who, who is they? The businesses appear to have no. Funding, moral standards, flooding. No, the businesses can't have flooding. I'm going to delete that. Rare species. No, that's about animals. I'm not going to delete that. Worker support. So I would say it's one of these three. And really, it's not really there. Um, maybe it's over here. It offends our sense of justice. Maybe that's the closest. It offends our sense of what is right and what is wrong because the answer is over here moral standards but it was a really difficult one you can be forgiven for not finding that one just notice very important to notice that they put this really difficult one first because they know you're gonna sit there on that one and they're gonna eat your time so do what I did if you can't find it quickly skip it and move on to the others remember one of the biggest rules of IELTS is try and find the easy ones first and skip the difficult ones come back to them later all right, um, maybe four out of five there would have been okay. Two tricks. One, this was a real stretch. It wasn't really there. And then two, they switched these around to try and confuse you a little bit. But otherwise, other than that, not too bad. Uh, then you can go on. You can do these if you want, but I would probably want to go on to these. Um, so let's go and see if we can find where they are from. Right, so remember that we saw the multiple choice come from up to here. So um, I'm just going to check. I mean, they could take this yes, no, not given from the beginning and from the whole passage. But I'm just going to check because uh, it's quite possible, maybe even likely, that it will be from these two paragraphs over here. Uh, so if we look at the questions here... Just notice that in the future businesses will show more concern so that tells me it's probably the last paragraph this one at least because very often the last paragraph or two paragraphs of these passages is where they talk about the future so let's see if we can find this one this is the important one to find the public should be prepared to fund good environmental practices should they or should they not be prepared to pay for to fund environmental practices so i'm just going to check here and see if i can uh, see anything <clears throat> and I see the public over here and then he goes on to say I also believe that the public must accept the necessity for higher prices for products to cover the added costs 
So the public must accept, there's the, the modal should, must accept the higher prices. So the public must pay for the higher prices. So um, I'm quite happy with that because that tells me that um, all of these are from the last two paragraphs. There's something about spending money and there's about the public. Right, so should they be prepared? They must accept the necessity of higher prices. They should be prepared to fund the environmental practices. Just check. You could also check for environmental practices, of course, and of sound environmental practices is there. So definitely um, it's that sentence over there, lots of keywords there, and compare the two, yes, the public must pay for it. The public must or should fund it. So with that, I'm going to go with yes. There is a contrast between the moral principles of different businesses. Contrast between moral principles of different businesses. So we're going to start over here. Business should act in accordance with moral principles. There we go. My views seem to ignore the belief that <coughs> businesses should act in accordance with moral principles. Is there a contrast? Or you can go on, 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 on. There's more moral princi principles. Government regulation has arisen because it was found that not only the moral principles need to be explicit, they need to be enforced. But the question is asking, is there a contrast between businesses? Uh, is there a contrast between the moral principles of different businesses? And you'd have to read it again. Businesses should act in accordance with moral principles. Is there a contrast between different businesses and their moral principles? I don't see it. So I, I'm quite sure that it's from over, from somewhere over here because of this moral principles that is mentioned twice so i'm going to go with not given but um it's always fine if you think it's not given it's always fine to skip it and come back to it later if you want to see what the others are first it is important to make a clear distinction between acceptable and unacceptable behavior i'm looking for acceptable and unacceptable behavior we're probably going to be here somewhere <clears throat> behavior of even the biggest business is empowering and hopeful. The conclusion has, that the public has the responsibility. My conclusion is not a moralistic one about right and wrong, this and this, good guy, bad guy. I don't see it. What is it? It's important to make a clear distinction. <clears throat> I'm just going to skip it. I want to come back to it. The public have successfully influenced businesses in the past. That might be a bit easier. It's just a fact. It's not an opinion. And there we see in the past. So that helps us with uh, this other one. The other one is somewhere in here. In the past, businesses have changed when the public came to expect different behavior. So the public did influence the businesses to change in the past. That in the past was very useful there. They have successfully influenced businesses in the past. Yes, that's quite a straightforward one. And the last one, in the future, businesses will show more concern for the environment. Be careful of that word, will. It's a very strong modal. Will show. Future, future, future is here. I predict that in the future, just as in the past, changes in public attitudes will be essential for changes in business practices. So he's not saying that the businesses will show more concern. He's saying that Changes in public attitude will be essential in changes for changes in business. He's not saying necessarily that the businesses will. Right, so I'm going to go for not given there. Because he's saying two totally different things. Not too easy, don't worry. These are a little bit difficult, especially the not givens. And then, yes, this, of course, should be no. If, if I've gotten these right, then this will be no. It's important to make a clear distinction between unacceptable and acceptable. This was a very difficult one. What it is, where it is, is my conclusion is not moralistic about <clears throat> who is right or wrong, admirable or selfish,
good guy, bad guy. That's all the acceptable, acceptable or unacceptable, acceptable or unacceptable, acceptable or unacceptable. So he's saying his conclusion is not about that. It was a very difficult one. Um, so this would be no, it is not important. But yes, not very easy. All right. These weren't too bad. If you skipped the difficult ones, um, I think you could have definitely gotten three out of five there. The, these weren't too bad, actually. I was expecting something really difficult because the other two passages were easier, but so far we're looking okay. And then on to the terrible, dreaded, multiple choice, as always, the worst questions that you can get. The main idea of the third paragraph is that environmental damage. So normally I, I don't read these. I go and see if I can answer this question first and then come back and see anything matches up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What's the main idea of the third paragraph? Environmental damage what? And unfortunately, no easy way to do this. You have to one, two, okay, it's a nice short paragraph. Um, environmental damage what? There's no easy way to do this. You just got to kind of read the whole thing. Ignores the ultimate responsibility of the public, creating the conditions that let a business. So the republic, the public is responsible for it. In the long run, it is the public that has the power. So it's the public has the power. The public has the responsibility to make make things right, make environmental policies profitable. Environmental requires political action. No, is the result of ignorance on the part of the public. That's not he was, what he was saying. He's saying can be prevented by the action of ordinary people. Just paraphrased ordinary people into public can only be stopped by educating business leaders. Good. So it's not that because it's not talking about politics. Political action is talking about public. And it's not that because he's not saying it's the power, the responsibility of business. It's the responsibility of the public. So it's one of these two. And he's saying it is the responsibility of the public. The public has the power to make these things happen. It's a positive paragraph. It's not a negative paragraph. So could be prevented by the action. The public has the power. Great. In the fourth paragraph, the writer describes ways in which the public can. So let's see that paragraph. It may be a list. Ways in which the public can do what? The public can do that. What is that? Make such destructive policies unprofitable and make sustainable policies profitable. So the public can make sustainable pro policies profitable. As happened in this, there's an example. They can also make their opinion felt by buying this. Okay, so it's a list. It's a big list sentence like I've spoken about in um, task two. All the lists starting with buy. 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 Three. And four. So notice this is one of those big sentences, list sentences, <coughs> using semicolons to separate out the items on the list, as I've recommended that you try and do in your task two. Right, so let's see if we can find ways that they can reduce their impact on the environment, learn more about the impact of business, raise awareness, <coughs> influence, <coughs> excuse me, influence the environmental policies of business and government and I think it is that one because it actually all rests on this word <clears throat> what is that referring to make sustainable policies profitable there they mention government contracts with business governments so they're talking about business and government so I would go with the influence the environmental policies P policies of businesses and governments. Not too bad. These maybe were a little bit more confusing. Um, but each one of these refers to 
an individual item on that list of four or five things that we had and we're looking for an overview of the whole list so be careful of that that they'll definitely try and put some tricks in like that when they have these big list sentences right what pressure was exerted in the case of the disease bse so we just need to find the bse what happened for instance the the public became concerned about the spread of disease transmitted to humans the u.s blah 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 introduced rules demanding that the meat but for five years the meat refused to follow these however so notice these these are important structural parts of the paragraph however when a then made the same demands the meat industry complied when a major fast food company made the same demands the meat industry complied <clears throat> what pressure was exerted by big business and i'm not going to go through it all it's this one a fast food company forced their meat suppliers to follow the law so it came after this however over here it was like the conclusion of this um example this whole thing is what you wanted it's all one big example all right i don't want to go through it too much you can read it yourself and figure it out then finally these last ones i really hate these because um you've got to do quite a lot of reading for this and it's just one mark so remember for one mark you you've got 60 minutes for 40 marks that's one and a half minutes for one mark so don't spend more than one and a half minutes on this um they want a subheading for the passage so they want something it's like a title but just they want something that goes underneath the heading over here just expanding a little bit on the title and <clears throat> my strategy for this would be probably trying to see what's going on over here see what his conclusion is and uh if it's going to be anywhere, it'd probably be where his conclusion is. I would look around here somewhere. You don't have much time. And um, the best sum heading for this paragraph, you just got to read through them. Uh, and I see to blame our big businesses, big businesses to blame that they cause the environment. And then I see over here. Um, he has concluded it's the public has the ultimate responsibility not big business um, again the res ultimate responsibility for business is on the public so he mentions this there and the public has the responsibility for the behavior of business so that's his conclusion he's saying that it's he's answering this question And he's saying, no, it's not big businesses are to blame. It's the public who is to blame. Anyway, don't be afraid to just guess that one. Don't let it eat your time. Definitely not. Leave it right for the end. Great. So that's the end of the test and the end of Cambridge 15. I'll try and do some listening soon. Thank you.